We have a call to make. Let's bring in Martha McCallum, anchor of the story, and Brett Baer, anchor of Special Report. Well, Jesse, the Fox News Decision Desk can now project that former President Donald Trump will win the New Hampshire Republican primary. This is an important win for Trump, given the role that undeclared voters, moderate New England Republicans, play in this state in particular. He defeats his only notable rival still in this race, former Governor Nikki Haley. Haley appears to be running a somewhat closer race than the recent polling had showed. Both of these candidates will receive a share of the 22 delegates at stake tonight. You have to get over 10% in order to start divvying up those delegates, um, and she's in that range. And you know what's really interesting, Jesse, is that immigration, again, the top issue, Iowa and New Hampshire, and the Trump campaign was very disciplined in how they pitched that. Every rally we went to, every commercial has some mention of immigration, and they hit that hard in the final days. It's pretty stunning that immigration has gotten to the top issue in New Hampshire. Um, and I think you look back at all of the migration and the intentional migration that some of these governors in southern states did, sending migrants up to these uh, more northern areas, Jesse, and it's resonating with voters up here. There's no doubt. The other thing to watch is what the spread is here. Right now, as you see, it's about uh, 10 points, roughly a little bit less than that. And, you know, the question is, what does it need to be for Governor Haley to continue on? She says she's continuing on anyway, but there will be pressure, especially from Trump world, uh, for her to do as Governor DeSantis did and step aside. Doesn't look like she's going to do that. All right, so it looks like it's going to be about a 9 to a, what, a 15-point margin for the former president. Is that what we're looking at now? We just don't know exactly where it's going to land? It, um, it's, yeah, I think that's probably a safe guess at this point, but we're still at 19 percent um, with these numbers still coming in from different areas around New Hampshire. But, you know, I mean, clearly it is a solid win. It would also be um, no, no one has won the Republican nomination, won Iowa, won New Hampshire, and not gone on to secure the nomination. Uh, so history is on the former president's side when he looks ahead at these other states. But we have heard, as everyone has said time and time again from Governor Haley, that she doesn't believe that two states should decide who the nominee is going to be and that she intends to stay in this, that she intends to work hard over the next month into South Carolina. But whether or not they rethink this, given um, the end of the night numbers here, we'll see. She is uh, outperforming the polls going into this day. She is doing better uh, across the board. How that turns out at the end of the night is big, the big question. The other history made tonight, Jesse, is that Donald Trump is now the only person ever to win the New Hampshire primary three times. So there you go. <laughs> I'm sure we'll hear him note that in the <laughs> speech tonight. Yeah. Always likes to break <laughs> records and make history. You know, Jesse, just one other thing that I would mention. Um, Nikki Haley, what she's been saying all along is I was at 2% in the beginning, got to 20% in Iowa. Now you look at this number at 45. If it stays in that area, she's going to say, then I doubled what I did in Iowa. So she's going to, I would imagine, um, characterize this as a continued climb. And uh, we'll see, you know, what she has to say at the end of the night and where this goes. And if the donors buy all of that. Exactly. Okay, well, as we saw over at Hemmer's board, we still have a pretty long way to go when it comes to getting to Nevada and then getting to South Carolina. Hi, everyone. I'm Brian Kilmeade. I want you to do me a favor. I want you to click to subscribe to the Fox News YouTube page. This is the only way that I know for sure that you're not going to miss any great commentary, any great news bites, any great interviews coming your way on Fox. You can get it all here on YouTube. So subscribe right now.